Well, we've finally made it to the decade mark. It's lesson number 10 in this difficult 9 by 9 Ken Ken with no operation signs. We, in the last uh, episode, we were working on this 15 cage. Let's stick with it for a while because there's a lot that we can do. We know that one of these is going to have to be a 6, meaning that the other two digits, the other two cells, will have to add up to 9. Well, there's no possibility of this 9 being able to add to anything to give us 9, because if we add anything to 9, it's going to be over 9. So there's no chance for that. Uh, this 2, can this 2 add to anything to give us 9? 2 plus any of these? No, not at all. Can this 3 add to anything? Well, it could, except the 6 that it would add to can't exist next to another 6. So in other words, if this is a 6, and we have a 3 here, then this would have to be a 6. And we can't have two 6s in the same row or column, so let's trash this 3 right now. Is there anything this 4 can add to? Nope, there's no 5 over there. There's no 3 over here for this 6 to add to, so let's trash the 6. So we're left with all of these. We can even get rid of the 4 because there's no 5 over here. So that's cleaned up quite a bit. Okay. And over here we can get rid of this 4 because there's no 1 over here to combine it with to make it a 5. And the same goes for this 4. There's no one over here. Let me clean this up a little bit. Good. Um, so what have we accomplished? We found out if we look in this row when we do our check for things we've uh, eliminated, how does it affect this row? No fours here, no fours here, no, no, no fours here. The only place that could be a four is here. This has to be a four. So let's make it a large four. And since that's a large 4, we know that the number in this cell can only be a 2. And that could be a 2 if we divide this 4 by 2. That would give us this 2 over here. Or if we subtracted this 2. This is one case where it would work either way. What can we do now? Is there anything when we do our ecology check because we've changed things in these col in these cells? Uh, are there any twos over here to get rid of? No, but there is a four to get rid of, isn't there? Let's do it now. Oh, that makes this remaining one can't be anything but a one. So let's erase the small one and if I can find the pencil on my palette in Photoshop let's put the one right there okay after putting the one there I have to check are there any ones to get rid of in the columns of the rows no there are not and I think with a very few strokes of the pencil and the eraser we have accomplished a whole bunch um, we've narrowed this down an awful lot and we've solve this one and solve that one. Let's tackle the rest in the next uh, lesson. See you then.